What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, kind of a different setting right now. Uh, we are outside. It is beautiful. The sun is shining right now. Uh, it's been raining for like the last two weeks. It sucks. It's summer or spring, whatever you want to call it. But it sucks, okay? So hopefully the um, audio is good. There will be some cars going uh, back and forth, but I'll try to keep it as low as possible. Now I asked you guys um, some questions I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Twitter, so we're gonna go over those right now. I'm gonna answer some dope questions, so uh, let's go. Would you ever make gaming content? Yes, I would. Do you have any other hobbies besides working out? Yes, I play video games, that's what I do. For your Q&A video, do you know how to pack bounce? And if you do, can you please make a video of you doing it? I'm not sure what a pack bounce is, but um, as far as I know, you don't want to bounce anything on your pack uh, in order to make some gains. So don't bounce anything. How do you get so rounded shoulders and definition between the side delts and biceps? So I guess he means like this part. That's what he means. Um, the definition is the lower, the body fat thing, um, because that's where definition comes in. Um, if you're skinny and you want some definition, obviously it's the muscle mass that you need. But if you go from a um, bigger point like you're a little bit more chubby or whatever uh, you'll need a lower body fat um, for that um, and the other question how do you get rounded shoulders well I am um, what I usually do with shoulders I start out with a compound movement a compound exercise um, either being dumbbell presses dumbbell shoulder presses or barbell or behind the neck uh, barbell presses um, you can also do Arnold presses but those are a little bit more complicated and a little bit more um, isolative uh, isolation exercises. But um, I always start with a, um, with a compound movement and then I go and do a lot of sets, low weight for shoulders. Um, and I do a lot of supersets with shoulders as well. So um, yeah, that's what I do. Uh, so a lot of sets, low weight, good form, um, and a lot of different angles, so front, side, back, you know, super setting, drop setting, all that. So that's how you get the definition and the roundness in the shoulder. I'm only in junior high, can't go to the gym. I have very limited workout equipment. What's the best bicep exercise? Well, guys, I can actually, hold on one second. I have to watch the time because it's, uh, it's only recording up to 12 minutes on this camera for some reason, but I got a towel. Um, everyone has a towel in their home, right? So you can use a friend or you can use um, some equipment for this. I know Jimmy Green with just something random, some random stuff that weighs. And for biceps, you want to grip it like this, have a friend, have a towel like this, and have him hook it like this. Okay, so one is like that and one is like that. So you hook it in each other and then you go up, he gives resistance downwards, so you go up and you have some resistance on the biceps. Uh, you can do that or you can, for example, you have a jug of water, uh, which is maybe a liter or a gallon, hook it on and just start lifting. And you can make it as heavy as possible, uh, you can do as many sets as you want, and um, you need some, some resistance training without equipment. Very good tip if you're at home or you're on vacation, you don't have a gym, you can always do that. How long did it took you to learn around the world? So if you don't know what around the world is, it's a soccer trick, football trick. Um, I just say soccer just because the Americans are watching. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> are you going to come to the face house LA? I want to. I'll definitely um, visit for sure. Have you lost your virginity? <laughs> V-A-G-I-N-I-T-Y Virginity No, I have not lost my virginity But my virginity, yes <laughs> Have you ever tried to get with a girl in a gym? No man, I'm not, I'm not the guy like that I'm not a creepy dude who's go, who goes up to people When I'm in a gym, I'm dead to train, seriously uh, I don't really spend time doing anything else How long did it take you for, for you to look the way you do now? Um, almost um, in September or August, it's four years. Four years of grinding, man. 
how is the reaction of your friends of your transformation in special girls? <laughs> um, wow, a lot of girl crushes, I guess. Um, I mean, a lot of friends respect it, but it's like a because a lot of friends who are close to me see it happening along the way, so it isn't. It's not like they don't see you for three years and then they see like, whoa, damn, or something. Um, but yeah, some people who haven't seen me in a long while, they were like, damn, you changed a lot. So, um, girls, I guess the same thing. It's not like they're like, oh, Jasper, please. You know, it's not nothing like that. Unfortunately, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you recommend mixing oats in your pre-post-workout shakes? P.S. I love you. Um, Anthony, I love you too, bro. I uh, really appreciate the question. Um, oats in a protein shake, I guess, not in a pre-workout, but in a protein shake, definitely. Um, it gets a little thicker that way, um, but you can flavor it up really good. Um, and you get some extra carbs in, which is also awesome. Um, so for, for, for a good example for a protein shake is um, some protein powder, obviously, whatever, flavor you want to choose, um, I would say vanilla, um, a banana, almond milk or normal milk, um, oats obviously, uh, that's your question, and then some cinnamon, uh, that's awesome, that's a perfect shake, but don't make it too thick because it's really hot to drink, but that's one of the best shakes you can make. When is the appropriate time to drink a protein shake and is it necessary? Now well, a lot of people um, think that 30 minute anabolic window after the workout. I don't really believe in that, per se. It's like, uh, within 30 minutes, you have to drink a shake, otherwise the workout is for nothing or whatever. It's, I don't really believe in it. But, um, appropriate time, every time is appropriate time. If you need protein, um, drink it. Uh, I don't see why timing during the day, if certain time is, is the best. Uh, as long as you get all your proteins in during the day, I guess you're fine. Um, but if you want to drink it after your workout, go ahead. Is it necessary? Um, no, if you can get your protein out of other sources, then do that. But it's just for convenience. It's easy. It's easy to take with you. It's easy to drink, I guess. I'm probably going to um, cut a lot of this video. Do you get your eyebrows done? No, I do not. I do it myself a little bit. I mean, I got pretty thick eyebrows. I got a lot of comments on it, actually. For th Thank you. Like, do your eyebrows or whatever. I appreciate the kind words, <laughs> yeah, but I don't let like have anyone do it. Um, what is your favorite moment slash memory in your YouTube career? By the way, love the videos and thanks for the gym motivation. Uh, Jack, really appreciate the kind word, bro. I um, that's dope. Your favorite moment or memory on YouTube? I have two moments that really stu st stuck out with me in my gaming uh, YouTube career, as you can say. The first one is I had a clan called High Class Distance back in the day, 2011, 2012. And we did really, really well in the Dutch community. We were a pretty big thing. Um, and then we had um, our Kill Cam episode, which is called High Class Camps. And number three, I haven't smiling even thinking about it. Um, number three was by far the most successful Kill Cam episode I've ever done in my entire life. Obviously, it was my team, so I um, I wasn't that good at the trick shot, but I was a... Uh, I was the leader and we came up with this dope ass montage and a lot of face members back in the day were commenting on it and it was a big deal back then. Um, so that's one of the two. And the second one is I, I did an episode edit for um, Dare Zime. Um, I'll link it in the description so you can watch it. Um, back when I was an editor and I made this crazy creative edit and it was really dope in my opinion. Um, I did stuff that was never done before and um, I got a lot of good feedback on it. So uh, that was the second one. And then in my fitness thing, it's, well, my fitness thing basically, my fitness channel basically started when I joined Face Fitness, so that's one of the good memories. Another one was when, when Tommy, Apex, Rain, all those guys followed me on Twitter. I was like, damn, I got like 3,000 followers, but like all of Face follows me now, which was kind of crazy. Uh, so that's definitely a good memory. And also, Ali A is subscribed to his channel. Like... He has 8 million subscribers. Like, I don't know. I've never seen her comment, but Ellie, if you're watching this, bro, please leave a comment. You're awesome. <laughs> Did you ever thought you would, you, that you would be a role model or something like a motivation to some people? Man, obviously not, man. Um, I just wanted to share my story. Or, I guess I, I don't really have a crazy story. I mean, I just came, I was skinny. I, I, 
started training. That's my story. Um, but no, that's broader than that on, in the story, of, obviously. But um, did I ever think that? Not really, honestly. Like, um, I just wanted to share what I was going through and how I live my life. And some some of you guys are uh, really interested in it and uh, really want to watch it. So. Um, if I'm motivating you or uh, inspiring you to do the same thing or maybe start a YouTube channel or maybe go work out or that's awesome man I really appreciate that and if you you know if I can inspire or motivate you that's that's even better since Nora got such a beast car what is your dream car I answered this in a Q&A a while back but like a realistic gold car is like a BMW M4 or something like a dope or BMW i8 um, but for our crazy cars, like obviously like an Aventador or a freaking, you know, Bugatti, but that's just, I was, you know. Okay, we're gonna pick a couple more. Um, I don't want to make these too, bo too boring. Uh, these are Q&A, so. Would you ever want to start becoming a gamer, trickshot, or a sniper? Um, I, so this is a good question because a lot of you guys don't even know that I am a gamer, um, which sucks. It's, um, I can't, I'm not really showing it in the vlogs. Because, okay, I'm not that playing that much anymore, but um, I can't record anything. If I could record, I would play a lot more than this. Um, but I, I can trick shot, I can snipe, I can edit. Like, I can do it all, okay? So, I can even GFX a little. Best gamma combination. Uh, face berry lemon lime is a good one. Face berry mystery is a good one. Um, pretty much everything with face berry is a good one. Ciao. See you guys later. Bye. Ciao, ciao. That's going to be the question I'm going to end this video on. I really appreciate you watching. I hope the sound was okay. If it's not, I have to redo this inside. Uh, hopefully not. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave us... Some people say like slap a like on it. I would say like caress it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, please leave a like on this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, a lot of dope content coming. Uh, a lot of vlogs. A lot of eating things. A lot of diet stuff, a lot of training, motivation, and hopefully I can go to the US soon and provide you guys with some dope ass face content. Yeah? Uh, because we're working on something in July, okay? So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!